All right, I know you've heard of lymphoma before, so let's talk about it um, and let's talk about what's going on here. So lymphoma is a cancer of the lymphatic system. What's the lymphatic system? Well, all this little green here, this little green network here, is basically an indication of the lymph system. The lymph system carries waste throughout the body and it helps fight infection, okay? So because of that, it spreads throughout the entire body, okay? Now, what happens with lymph... Uh, lymphoma is we develop a mass or we develop a tumor um, in one portion of the lymph system okay now this is either classified as Hodgkin's versus non-Hodgkin's <clears throat> non-Hodgkin's takes up is about 90 percent of the different types of lymphoma now this is a will be a cancerous mass and the, the concern is eventually it will spread to the lymph tissue and as we talked about the lymph system spreads throughout the entire body so it can it can very easily and very quickly spread to other tissues as well okay so that's kinda of what's going on with lymphoma um, and the way we're gonna assess for this okay and this would be a a, a lymphatic or a, a lymph tissue with lymphoma okay um, so the way we're gonna assess for this is gonna be a positive biopsy okay we're, the the patient's gonna develop that uh, swelling that tumor within that lymph tissue um, and so they might notice it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and so what they'll do is they'll eventually go to the doctor and they're going to assess those lymph those lymphatic ducts and those tissues and they're going to see that it's growing and then the the they'll actually biopsy that okay as they biopsy that they'll be able to get a positive biopsy that, that it's actually cancerous okay another thing their patient's going to have is they're going to have night sweats they're also going to be very fatigued um, and they're going to have a large liver, spleen, and lymph nodes. Okay, these are the locations in our body that we use to kind of get rid of waste. Um, and so these will be the first areas to become enlarged. So you would assess for a large liver, you could assess for a large spleen, and then their lymph nodes um, are also going to be enlarged. Okay, one other thing you need to keep in mind here is what's called Reed Sternberg cells. <clears throat> this is something you need to um, know for your testing and stuff. Reed Sternberg cells are going to be found in Hodgkin's lymphoma, okay? So if you see the presence of Reed Sternberg cells, the answer on the test is going to be Hodgkin's lymphoma, okay? That's one thing I know you need to keep in mind, and you're going to be tested on at some point. So how are we going to manage these patients? Well, there's not a whole wide range of things that we can do, okay? Because, uh, you know, this is a cancerous thing. So the best thing we can do for our patient is, is chemotherapy and or radiation to try to uh, get rid of that okay and these are some of the places that um, where lymphoma is most likely to spread to so as you can see it's on pretty much the entire uh, body almost it can spread to liver stomach small bowel testicle skin bone brain um, and so that's kind of a concern here with lymphoma is, is how it can spread how aggressive it can be once it does spread so again what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to use chemotherapy radiation and hopefully catch it as early as we can and then we're going to assess our patient for bleeding as well. One other thing we're going to do of course is going to be infection control and prevention and then all of our neutropenic precautions and everything that we're going to do as we normally would with our patient who has any form of cancer uh, or who's receiving chemotherapy. Okay so that's really it with with uh, lymphoma. I really just want you to know the difference in Reed Sternberg cells with Hodgkin's lymphoma where the cancer is originating um, and then kind of some of the things that we can do with our patients and again our, our assessment of course is going to be um, enlarged liver spleen lymph nodes positive biopsy those would be obviously the biggest things you're going to see with this okay if you have any questions as always just reach out to me.